Okay, honors physics, this is what separates you from the regular physics class. This is where it gets to be fun. Okay, but it's still the same process, just we have more unknowns. So you have to just kind of think about what you need to do. We have an elastic collision here. What does that mean? Elastic collision means that we have two things happening. Our momentum is conserved and our kinetic energy is conserved. Okay, both of these are going to be true. So, let's sketch out what we have to begin with. We have a two kilogram cart going east at 10 meters per second and it's going to collide with a one kilogram cart going west at 10 meters per second. Well, this problem should look familiar because this is the problem we just did. But, see, this time we're not given the final velocity of either car. So, afterwards, okay, you know, we can assume that they bounce off of each other, and if we end up with a negative, you know, velocity for something, then we just know it went in the opposite direction than we assumed that it did to begin with. So this is afterwards. Okay, so before the momentum's conserved, so our mass times our velocity, 2 times 10 plus 1 times negative 10. Why negative? Because it's going west, it's going in the opposite direction, so that's why it's a negative, is equal to, all right, we don't know the velocity of the 2 kilogram cart, so we're going to call it V2. We're going to call it V2 because it's the velocity of the 2 kilogram cart. You could call it VA, you could call it VB, you could call it, you know, you could color code your cars and you could say here's the red car and you could call this the V of the red. Okay, so it doesn't really matter how you label it, just so you can distinguish your two cars from each other. Plus, remember this is a one kilogram cart, one, and we don't know its velocity either, so we're going to call it V1 because it's the velocity of the one kilogram cart. Okay? So that's our momentum being conserved. So 2 times 10 plus 1 times a negative 10. So we know that 10 is equal to 2V2 two plus V1. Okay, we have two unknowns. If we have two unknowns, we need two equations. So we've used our conservation of momentum equation. So then what we need to do is set up our conservation of kinetic energy equation. So kinetic energy is conserved. We have one half the mass, two times its velocity, squared plus one half the mass times negative 10 squared. Do we really have to put the negative in? Because what do you get when you square a negative? You get a positive number. So direction and kinetic energy doesn't matter so at, at all. Equals one half the mass. Okay, we don't know what the velocity of this guy is, so we're going to call it V2, but we have to square it plus one half times the mass times V1 and we have to square that one half mv squared. Okay? Momentum mass times velocity, kinetic energy one half mv squared. Alright, so simplifying this, this is a hundred plus fifty. So we have one hundred and fifty is equal to V2 squared plus 0.5 times V1 squared. So now we have two equations and we have two unknowns. There's our first equation and there's our second equation. So we're going to take those two equations and solve for V2 and V1. 
So here's our two equations that we came from. This is from the momentum and this is from the kinetic energy. So two equations, two unknowns. We have two choices. We can do elimination or we can do substitution. Or we could graph them and see where the intersection of the two are, is. Um, this one, if we look at this equation, this this is very easy to rearrange and solve for V1. We can make it say V1 equals. So when we rearrange this, we get V1 equals 10 minus 2V2. And then we can take this whole thing and stick it in for V1 over here. So we can use substitution. So we have 150 is equal to V2 squared plus 0.5 times 10 minus 2V2 squared. Okay, now you have to FOIL this all out. So don't just square the 10 and square the 2V2. You need to FOIL that out. So you have 150 is equal to V2 squared plus 0.5 times all right, 100 minus 20 times 10 is, or 2 times 10 is 20, double it, 40 V2 plus 4 V2 squared. Distribute our 0.5 to everything inside. So we have 150 is equal to V2 squared plus 50 minus 20v2 plus 2v2 squared. Alright, we're going to end up with a quadratic equation, so let's move everything over to one side and set it equal to zero. So we're going to combine our like terms, combine those guys, so we have 3v2. minus 20v2 and then we're going to move the 150 over to the other side so it's going to become minus 100. Now if you've programmed your calculator with the quadratic formula this is fairly easy to solve and you get. So we get two answers for v2 since it is a quadratic equation. We have v2 is 10 or negative 3.33333333333 okay so now let's think about which answer makes sense if we use 10 then we find out that v1 plugging 10 in v1 is going to be a negative 10 okay using the negative 3.33 we find out that v1 is going to be 16.67. All right, so let's see which answer makes sense. Initially, we had our cars coming towards each other. Okay, and this was the positive. This, this was the to the right was positive, to the left was negative. So we're gonna if we take the first answer. This was two and this was 1. So if we take the first answer, 2 is going to continue moving on at 10 and 1 is going to continue moving on at negative 10. So that means 2 is going to go through 1 and pass it and 1 is going to go through 2 and pass it and they're going to have basically the same momentum they started with. Does that really make sense? No, that doesn't make sense. So then we'll choose the second answer and these will be the velocities of our car afterwards which means that the two kilogram car let's make this a little bit smaller our two kilogram car is going to be going 3.33 meters per second west 
and our one kilogram cart is going to be going 16.67 meters per second east and that's what we would say for our answer. See? See what you signed up for? Aren't you so glad? But it's not that hard. It's just systems equations. It's tedious. It is not hard. It's tedious, not hard. Just be very careful with your math when you do this. All right, we'll see you later. Good luck.